Saudi Arabia, a land with no rivers, no lakes, and almost no rain, is rumored to be pumping millions of gallons of salt water underground. At first, it sounds unbelievable, but it's true. The Desert Kingdom has engineered one of the most advanced underground water networks on Earth. And the question is, why bury water in a place where people desperately need it on the surface? The answer lies in the heat. In Saudi Arabia, exposed water doesn't last. It evaporates in the sun. By sending it underground, engineers created a hidden river system where nature never provided one. The journey begins with dams. Since 2021, Saudi Arabia has built over 500 dams across dry valleys, called wadis. These aren't just barriers. They're lifelines designed to trap the rare rainfall and sudden floods that sweep across the desert. Instead of letting that water vanish into the heat, dams hold it, collectively storing more than 650 billion gallons. Some are colossal, like the Holly Dam near Mecca, whose reservoir alone can hold nearly 250 million cubic meters of water. In Mecca province, 60 dams together store over 230 billion gallons. For one of the driest nations on Earth, that is a remarkable safety net. But surface storage is only part of the story. Beneath the desert, vast aquifers lie hidden. Geological surveys reveal around 26 trillion gallons underground. Yet most of this treasure is fossil water. Ancient reserves from a time when the Arabian Peninsula was lush and green. Fossil water does not refill. Once it's pumped, it's gone forever. Only a small portion, less than a trillion gallons each year, is renewable. The kingdom uses far more water than nature can restore. Agriculture, industry, and even leisure drain the reserves at an unsustainable pace. Groundwater has given life to Saudi Arabia, but it is also a fragile lifeline, and one that could run dry. To extend supply, the country turns to recycling. Today, nearly 100 treatment plants reclaim more than a billion gallons of wastewater every single day. That's water cleaned, purified, and sent back into the system for farms and cities. Still, with a population that keeps growing, recycling alone is not enough. So the nation looked to its coasts and decided to bring the sea inland. This gave birth to one of the most ambitious engineering projects in modern history, an underground pipeline system nicknamed the Invisible River. Spanning more than 8,700 miles, it's longer than the Nile, the longest natural river in the world. These giant steel pipes, some wider than a person is tall, are buried deep beneath the desert to protect the water from heat, contamination, and evaporation. Building them was no small task. Workers blasted through granite, carved tunnels through the Hejaz Mountains, and fought sandstorms and blistering heat to connect distant desalination plants to thirsty cities. But they succeeded, and today this invisible river delivers fresh water to millions in Riyadh, Jeddah, and Mecca. Of course, seawater can't be used as is. It must first be transformed. That's the role of desalination. Saudi Arabia is now the world leader in desalination technology. From just a handful of plants in the 1980s, the kingdom has grown to more than 40 today. The Ras Al Care facility alone, the largest of its kind on Earth, produces nearly 800 million gallons of fresh water every single day. But Desalination is not without its price. It's costly, energy-hungry, and it leaves behind brine, a super-salty waste product that can harm marine ecosystems. Still, for a desert nation, desalination is more than a technology. It's survival. Yet even survival requires looking to the future. Saudi Arabia faces another challenge, desertification. The sands are spreading. To fight back, the kingdom launched the Saudi Green Initiative, a bold plan to plant 10 billion trees and protect nearly a third of its land. Imagine it, 18 million acres transformed into a shield of green, trees that clean the air, cool the cities, and stabilize the soil. Studies suggest urban forests alone 
could cut dangerous air particles by 20% and reduce city temperatures by nearly 4 degrees Fahrenheit. In a land where summer temperatures often soar past 120 degrees, that difference could save lives. Already millions of trees are being planted, one season at a time, reshaping landscapes that once seemed permanently barren. When we step back and look at the full picture, dams, aquifers, recycled wastewater, invisible rivers of steel, desalination plants, and massive greening projects, we see a nation rewriting the rules of survival in the desert. Each solution comes with challenges, trade-offs, and costs. But for a country with no rivers at all, Saudi Arabia has built its own. And that raises the question, is this the model for other regions facing water scarcity? Or is it a unique story only possible with Saudi Arabia's resources? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop them in the comments. And if this journey fascinated you, don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe for more deep dives into the stories shaping our world.